Hello and welcome to the world of NDE 4.0. My name is Johannes Frana and today is a great day because today I will finally come to a topic I wanted to share with you for quite a while. And looking at the date this video is published, this actually becomes kind of a Halloween special. So today we will talk about the top five scary opinions on NDE NDT. Now, NDE and NDT, they are both abbreviations. NDE, it stands for non-destructive evaluation and NDT, non-destructive testing. So if you're looking for the top five scary opinions on near-death experience, speaking about scary, you're, look, you're here in the wrong channel. Now, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and if you like this channel, please subscribe to this channel. Now, what I will be showing you, those top five opinions, they actually come from a survey I did on social media and on some of the NDE 4.0 classes I gave in the past. And you can actually find all of those opinions in a paper, and I will put the link to the preprint of that paper right down here in the description. And actually, the real paper will be published in the Journal of NDE, I would think, in the next couple of weeks. Now, which ones are the top five? That's just my opinion. I just picked the ones I found most scary. If you have others, and if you want me to speak about it, please put it in the comments. And if I get, if I get a sufficient number of such comments, then I will create actually another video. Let's get started. Number five. NDT technology is too Star trek -y. Now, in my eyes, Star Trek, it's not really that scary. But actually, the background to this comment it is actually pretty scary. Let's get into it. Now, looking into Star Trek and looking into technology, for me, that is not scary at all, because this is really the technology I really want to have. Because if I, look, if I watch Star Trek and I see how easy it is to use the technology, the advanced technology they have, it shows it's really easy to use it. And everybody gets around with that technology. So that's about the technology we want to have. I also see the background for this comment. Meaning, people think that some of the NDT technology is too complicated, that it is not reliable, that it is something coming out of nowhere and it's actually not based on any real facts. And that's not the case. And that's what makes it scary. NDT is physics. I know for some people, physics can be scary, but the good part is, Physics is based on facts. So what we have to tell, we have to explain to the world outside of NDT that actually it's not that complicated. It is based on facts, it's based on physics, and we can explain all the results. And it's not something we are putting together and then telling them to make them angry. No, it's just what we see. It's just as you look at something and you see it. That's the same what we are doing with NDT technology. With ultrasonics or X-ray, we're just looking into the component and we tell them what we see. So this is number one. And this is actually the reason why I started this YouTube channel explain a little bit to the world outside of NDT, NDE, what we are doing. A basic understanding so that, we, that they get a better opinion about what we are doing. And number two, yeah, if we look into NDE 4.0, this is really why we are doing NDE 4.0, to make NDE more reliable, more explainable, better to use for the outside, better to understand for the outside, giving them data using the IIoT with the semantic interoperability 
and a certain reliability. So this is really, in its core, I think this comment is scary, but it's something we can learn from. We can learn from and we can change our behavior as an NDT community and give the outside a little bit more information about what NDT and NDE is about. And with NDE 4.0, we are getting along to a good future. Number four, we'll see it's getting scarier. NDT only tests flaws into the material. Now, this is a comment I was getting from a lot of customers in the past. It actually NDT introduced by testing the material, it kind of introduced flaws into the material. This is kind of like going to a doctor and once the doctor finds something in you, you're telling him, oh, you are the reason that I have cancer. No, the cancer was there. The doctor just found it. And it's the same with NDT. We just find what is inside of the component. We are making sure that the component you are buying, that the component you are using actually meets its expected lifetime. But if you look into the core of this comment or this op opinion, and you compare it to the last one, yeah, it actually, yeah, the last one is kind of the reason for this one, because people do not understand what NDT is. And then they're coming around with phrases like this. Number three, why don't you inspect at a different location? Now, luckily I haven't heard this one because this for me is really serious. That's really scary. This is somebody who's just, who just wants this component to be usable, no matter whether it meets the expected quality or not. This is showing that some people outside of the NDT world actually do not actually care about your life, your safety, and so on. It would be like going to a doctor, and if you, if you have something on your hip, then you tell them, oh, please inspect up here, because up here you do not find something. This is not the way to go. There are reasons why we inspect at certain locations. And if we find something at those locations, you should take it serious. Number two, and you will see it's now getting really scary, because up to the moment, those comments they were mostly by, I would think, something, somebody in procurement, so somebody buying or selling something, or by, yeah, some managers who didn't understand. But this comment here, this is coming from somebody in engineering, and that's making it really scary. We don't need NDT. The safety factors in design will cover any flaws. I think I do not have to say a lot about this comment. And actually, how scary, how even stupid it is. Especially somebody coming from engineering should see the value of NDT, should see the value of not just having safety factors, but actually looking into the component, making sure that nothing is in the component which actually, him as a design engineer, didn't put into his calculations. Because that's what we are looking for. We are looking for the things the design engineers didn't think about or thought about and knew they were actually too risky for the component to be used. This is what we as an NDT community are really doing. We are making sure that all the components 
all the equipment out there is running safely. Number one. You are like my mother-in-law. I don't need you. Hate it when you are there. You create extra work for the rest of us. And I end up paying a load of money. I will not say a lot about this. But this is really, yeah. I think actually all the comments before already cover what I would like to say here, because this actually makes me angry. Now, I have a bonus for you, a bonus top five. Let's call uh, the top zero. And I actually like this one, because this one shows us kind of how to get out of the world of those scary comments. This one was saying, NDT does not have any value at all. It only sorts out parts that in reality are good. I don't want it. I would never ever do it, but my customer insists on it. I would prefer spending the money into further improvement of my production. Now, I guess you can see where this comment is coming from and the relationship to all the comments before, all the opinions before. But what this person is not seeing, that if he would be using all the results of all the NDT inspections he does and doing some statistics on it, he could be using the results of NDT or NDE for improving his production, for improving his production, for improving his design, or for improving his maintenance. But what is this customer doing with all the NDT results? And at what are most of us doing with all the NDT results? We are putting them in archives. I told you this is kind of a Halloween special. That's why I picked a little bit of different picture here. Now, but there is a way out of it. And that way is really NDE 4.0. By making all those results usable and giving those results to our customers so that they can actually see the value in the NDE NDT results. Up to a moment, a lot of customers see that we are that we do not create any value. But for me, actually, the NDE NDT data is actually the biggest data treasure you can have to improve your production, to improve your design and your maintenance. And that's why we have to get to NDE 4.0. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it to, that I talked about those top five scary opinions on NDE, NDT. If you have more, please write them down here in the comment section. If you have any questions, that's about the same. Please write them down here in the comment section. And I will do another top five scary opinions video next time about the digital twin. But if you have any top five scary opinions about the digital twin. Also, please write them down here in the comment section. As usual, you will find more information in the description, like also the paper to the, or the link to the preprint of the paper. And in a couple of weeks, I will add the link to the paper also. I hope you like this video. I hope you give us a thumbs up. I hope you subscribe to this channel. I hope I will see you soon. So thank you for watching. See you soon. Thank you. Bye and happy Halloween.